What's up guys and girls? How the blooming devil are you? It's only bloody Friday Eve. Oh, it's nice to say that. The madness is truly real. I don't know whether the golf is going in tonight or if it's going in tomorrow. I've got a liaise with two people, which I'm gonna to try to do throughout the course of today to find out if we're gonna get it on a flatbed and take it tonight, or if we're just gonna leave it and do it tomorrow. But, oh, who knows? Yes. Good news anyway, so I'm pretty much hyped off of that. I am loving the fact it's Thursday. I hope you're loving the fact that when you're watching this, it's Friday. Oh, roll on that weekend. We have been needing it. I don't know about you. On that note, it looks like it's another sort of cold, chilly morning, but the sun's out. So I'm hoping, I'm not gonna say the dreaded R word. Hopefully we might get through a day without some, which would be nice. I'll be able to kind of do things in my breaks. That'd be nice. Anyway, on that note, we're up. We're on it. We've got to go to work. It sucks, I know, but never mind. we got to make that money and then we can do cool stuff. So, first things first, let's go and make some money and then we can do some cool stuff. Let's get this day rolling, shall we? Fire up that intro. So, in the, the crazy brain that is the Grom, just uh, having a conversation with a colleague of mine saying how sort of disillusional and warped Hollywood makes you because there was a track playing on the radio that uh, your mama don't dance and your daddy don't like rock and roll or something and I was just saying you know if this was a Hollywood movie right now I'd jump up on the table and start giving it some kicks and flicks maybe do a couple of little twirls jump down kick the spinning chair out of the way have a little dance and a boogie grab the cleaner do some little like rock and roll either side of the bodies flick her back off into the kitchen it would be epic gold ash realities probably end up with discipline maybe even sacked yeah blame Hollywood man away from the madness that is the thought of Hollywood movie making out here tea break dude two of my colleagues were having a conversation one of which said yeah no I'm allergic to dairy the other colleague said I'm allergic to whey I didn't say it out loud but in my head no way! And there was nobody else there to even say, yes way. But yeah, dude, that sucks. It would have been so epic, but it was just one of those quiet little moments in my own head, laughing very loudly. How's it going, Mr. Chris? Morning. You good? You all right? You brought a son with you, man. I know, he's staying with me all day as well. Good. If it looks like I'm not supposed to be in it, it's because I'm not supposed to be in it. I did tell them they should close their back door because any old weirdo could walk in there. Dude, what's going on? I know they called it global warming, but I think that was just such a poor choice of terminology. That's that work day over and done with. Mostly today we have been plotting quite outlandish short movie ideas that would be almost Hollywood standard, but the cold harsh reality is it's just a beautiful dream. Funding may be an issue, but who knows? Who knows what it may lead to? The madness truly is real though. So I mentioned it a little while ago that our company is soon to start production of an instrument that I think stood upright is going to be like 15 foot tall and they've decided to do that in the most smallest environment going me and a couple of colleagues have been kind of ridiculing them however there is a bit of me that thinks the likelihood is they will fall over but still come up smelling the roses some way miraculously it will all pan out I am kind of, the evil part of me is kind of really keeping his fingers crossed that it turns into an absolute comedy, sh like comedy show, comedy sketch, whatever you want to call it. Because, uh, yeah. We'll have to watch this space.
let's just say if it does go to complete shambles i will be there at the forefront of the action bringing you uh, a moment to moment uh update on the situation I'm not sure my bosses will find that amusing but we will There's that miraculous blue sky and rain thing again. Couldn't have asked for a better outcome. So I need to get the battery off the Golf, get it on charge this evening. The car is not going in tonight. I thought it's way easier for both mine and a friend of mine's situation if we just sort it out tomorrow. I have way more time on my hands. I also can get a few bits sorted this evening and needed the weather to be good. Happy blooming days. Just got in the shed, got the battery charger out. Looking for tools and I'm thinking to myself, where's all the spanners? Where's all my ratchets? And then you do that. Where was the last time I would have used them? Yeah, they're probably in the boot of the car. Yeah, probably. Ah, that helps. I say, it's a 13mm socket. I know it is. It helps when the 13mm socket's in the 13mm slot. I just feel like the golf hates me right now. It's like I've completely neglected it. But it's like, no, I haven't neglected you. We just can't get it sorted right now. Seriously, I don't know if I've voiced it in the vlog, but I've been having dreams lately where I've had to like scrap it. And I cannot tell you the level of like disappointment and just gnarliness that I, when I wake up, I'm feeling. Yeah, I know it's a car and I know I'm a kook. What can I say? Right, so battery's out. Next mission, get a few of the other bits out, throw them back in the shed. And uh, yeah, kind of get into a position where tomorrow I've just got to throw that rear quarter in the boot, get my friend to come and collect, pick her up, take her to this spot and uh, let these magicians work their magic. little bit better sort some last bits out tomorrow bolt the seats back in and obviously fire the battery back in until then it's more of a case of getting the battery on charge for most people you just think dude what's your problem there's a car yeah it is a car for most people for me dude i cannot stress in a short period of time how much me in this car have in history like, i ain't gonna lie man I've been losing sleep over the worry of it might actually be end of time for me in that car. Yeah, I know it's quite kooky, but... Locked it up, locked the boot. Yeah. I think this period of time since having that issue happen with it, actually, I don't think there's any problem about it. That's the longest period of time I've gone without driving the car since I've had it on the road. That sort of thing makes me sad. Well, golf's kind of relatively sorted and lined up for tomorrow. I need to do some things in regards to researching these road mics and uh, do a little bit of experimentation. Andrew's probably about ready to get on a Red Dead. 
the sun is setting but it's still up which is nice because it's 10 past seven and there's still light in the sky i'm loving that there is also talks that next week the weather's going to get good and i was only thinking this morning i can't believe it's like into april and i still haven't even considered pulling a pair of shorts out of the drawers so uh yes fingers crossed good weather's on the way with it hopefully some good vibes maybe even a little bit of good luck don't want to go too far eh? hope you're winning i hope you're well i hope you're uh getting some good vibes from the universe i hope you're not working too hard i hope you're not dealing with too many pressures too many stresses too many woes most of all i hope you're pushing towards something that's going to make you feel epic when you achieve it so these little things in life like that that make it worth all while right something like that have an awesome evening as always thanks for tuning in i appreciate the hell out of you guys see you same time same place tomorrow have a good one